Hello my lovelies! So for today's hairstyle, we are going to do another variation on a sock bun. Um, this one is the uh, bow variation. I saw this on Pinterest and I thought it was really cute. So we're going to do it. Uh, I did have to modify slightly to accommodate my excessive length, but it actually wasn't too bad. There's only one tricksy part and I figured that out. So yay! Uh, for this bun, you are going to need two ponytail holders. Uh, here's one. I have another. Um, you're going to need a bun form. I'm using my big one because it'll help use up more hair or length. Um, and you're going to need a few pins. Um, I will mostly be using these big long ones. Um, but I am using a few U pins for the center of our bow. And you will see why when we get there. All right. So begin with the ponytail. Ta-da! Ponytail. Um, yeah, I'm doing mine slightly high up because I want it to be up here instead of down here, but wherever you want it, go for it. Um, traditional traditional uh, sock bun style. We're just going to run our pony through the bun form. All of it. Don't leave anything out. Um, and then go around like always to Make sure we cover that whole thing and it's not peeking through. Um, it is always recommended to find a bun form that is close to your hair color, just in case you do end up with something peeking through. All right, another ponytail holder over top of that, like so. Are we covered? It feels like it. And then we're just going to separate our hair. Bring it down, so, you know, typical bun form, sort of bun. Just make sure, yeah, we're covered. Okay, yay! All right, next step. This is really easy. Okay, next step, you want to separate a small section out of the side. Um, is that small enough? Yeah. So you're going to have like two-thirds and one-third roundabouts. Um, your two-third section, English braid. Just a straight up English braid, nothing fancy. If you would like for a, to use a different braid, then you know, feel free. Uh, you can rope braid, you can four, five, straight up, whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna do a straight English braid because that's what it looked like in the picture. Um, so let me get this braided and then we'll be back for the next step. Okay, back in a second, right, we're back. We should have two thirds of our hair in a braid and a third left over just hanging out over here. Okay, uh, you want to take your English braid and wrap it around your bun, um, like so, that's it, like nothing fancy. Take the shorty end up underneath, don't you get caught up in there, there we go, and pin, okie dokie, you should be all pinned around, um, so far this is nothing new. Now we get to the fun part and the tricksy part. Okay, now, when I looked at the uh, fun on Pinterest, they did have it actually broken down in tutorial, which was pretty groovy, which doesn't always happen with the Pinterest hairstyles. Um, however, since we have twice the length, um, we actually are gonna do this slightly different. Um, they had originally split it into threes to make the bow, but we're not. We're just gonna use one hunk for all of it. Um, so we eat up the length. So we need to do our bow loops first. So you want to take all of it, you take your two fingers, and you want to bring it up and around and behind your hand like this. Um, and trust me, I experimented quite a bit with how to make these loops, and this is the one that turned out nice loops. <laughs> so I know from what I speak, I practice first. Okay, so then you want to pin this, make sure I got, this is one that is probably so easy to do on someone else and it's a little more complicated when doing on oneself, but it is not impossible. Is that, I just want to make sure we don't lose the top part. So I'm going to pin down and then in to the bun like that. We have our first loop, next loop, same, oh, there, I think we got it. 
Yes? Let me check before we do the final bit. Yay, we got a bow happening. Okay, so that seems overly complicated. It's not, it's just me. Okay, so this that's left over, now usually they would do like a little loop and make it look like a bow, but this is why it was so cute. We wanna take this, split it in two, and do a little bitty rope braid. Just a little bitty twisty rope braid right here. Um, you can English braid this. We are going to make a little tiny flower out of it. So I am rope, bra rope braiding because I think the rope braids make better flowers. That's just, that's my opinion. You do not have to share my opinion. Um, so quick job there. And I'm not even gonna use a hair tie because I don't want the hair tie to show. And I found a much better way to start these little flowers. You will be so delighted to find out. Um, we get cleared in the end as far as we can. Okay. Now I'm going to just roll it around my finger twice, pull my finger out. I shouldn't have done it quite so tightly. And then continue the roll. Um, works much better than trying to get the roll started without that little finagling. Okay, we've got it rolled up into our little flower. I'm going to pin it right in the middle here, and here is where I'm using those little U-pins because they really seem to work well on these flowers without showing up all crazy like the regular sort of um, bobby pins. That feels pretty decent, but let's double check. <laughs> Yay! So, uh, there we go. We have a sock bun with a bow. Now, I did make my bow big. You can make your bow smaller. You can make your loops a little smaller if you prefer. Um, I just made a big bow because I had enough hair to do so. Um, smaller bow, just as cute. Um, you'll just have a little bit bigger flower in the middle, but you know, actually depending on your length, you may be the perfect bit. Um, if you find you do not have enough length to get the bow, like totally the way you want it, um, do try splitting it into three sections, a wee tiny in the middle, that'll make your flower, and then two sections for loops, and then there you go. Um, I use one section because I have excessive length. But there we go. I think it's really cute. Um, it doesn't look quite as awesome as the one on Pinterest, which sometimes happens when I do things, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's different. It's not something you see every day. Hmm. I thought it was fun. And it's a nice short one today, guys, so yay! Alrighty, um, so there is your variation on a sock bun today your bow variation, um, and I hope you guys try it out and send me pictures if you do. Um, like, if you take a picture and you're on Instagram, tag me, I'm over there, or send to me on Twitter or whatever. Um, any hoodles, I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Until then, have a great day. Bye.